rocking out. But I mean, look at this roster. I'll say it for you one more time. Brain is in the server tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He set records on this map. Cold Zera, don't forget about him. Nico, Kirby, major champion at 18. And Brokey, the young Latvian who Latvi can more often than not. It looks pretty sharp on the AWP. But look at this. Hiding over towards Car on that hey, long side of things. They'll get the opening. RPK takes down Rain. And it will just be a BP. So smoke towards the door. Flashes will come over. Masuta back a platform. What can he get done here? Survival. Nade damage, though. And now with the flashbang, he peeks. Kirby did well to knock him off his perch. And that's the announcement of Marcus Kirby, ladies and gentlemen. Nako as well. Clearing out the tunnels is more where that came from. Bomb down. Rotating in loudly. Zaiwu and RPK. We walking into Nico's crosshair, and he's gone. He's out of there, and the tanks arrived in the kill feed. Triple kill. We got an ace on our hands. He's thinking about it. Does spot Kirby wide swing. Reactions aren't there. His teammate Zywoo's there for the help, though. And poor old Kirby just met RPK's USP. Four kills in the pistol, and the Frenchman secures the pistol round. Yeah, good stuff. That was uh, quite the retake to come on through. Diffuse is beautiful as well, and he has 5.1k after those four kills and being the individual to pick it up. So this was the one over towards Long at the start of things, taking rain that actually removed a lot of pressure, even though it was applied to be in a quick little flurry. But they've bowed them out, and that is a good start for Vitality. Now we have uh, the always emotional, at least emotive, Apex. I love to see what he's getting up to. And that's what I was questioning, whether or not RPK would drop the AWP. You can see AWP on the second round, because of all that damage that RPK did, Zawu was able to pick up the big green and get it out immediately against this force by Straight over towards Long. Apex goes down. RPK trades out one. And then here comes the AWP. I don't think they'll be ready for this one. <laughs> second round AWP, but he's missing shots. This gets awkward oh, now. No. He's burning. No shots hit. FaZe taking full control of the second round force. And a freebie as well. Shocks walk straight into their jaws. This is a start, and it's a good one at that for FaZe Clan. Straight out the loss of the pistol, RPK dominating, but now poor old Masuta, our newest addition to the pro tips. He's going to have to do it all. Bombs on towards A. And God, it would be great if we could turn off these lights. I'm about to say it loud. No, I, I, I put it in the group, so we're getting as many forms of communication yep. across as I'm we can. I'm just going to call them out publicly because they <laughs> clearly can't hear me in the production room. It's, it's hot. It's hot in here, guys. Can't see the screen. My job is to talk about what's on the screen. It's all right. We, we don't need to worry about this round. This round's over. Jesus Christmas. I'm going to have to kneel on the stool. There we go. It might be. There might be some fires in there. That's what's... Yeah, exactly. There, there we, there we yeah, go. Yeah, oh, goodness yeah, me. Yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, so the AWP for Brokey, I can see that's in his hands, and uh, it's quite the round for FaZe to bounce back with. So after losing the pistol, FaZe immediately returned fire, and that's put Vitalian in a position where they might go for a force buy of their own. And one thing we have been noting is Apex has been purchasing the scout a lot, but because they won the first round, lost the second, they only get the $1,400 loss bonus, meaning he can't get out that scout rifle. Oh, those, lo those misses from Zywu are going to really haunt him if he doesn't see an AWP for a few rounds. He certainly won't. So RPK's hard work just going down the drain immediately. So He's got his glasses on today. Yeah. Oh, hello, Brokey. Gaming glasses on. Good to see Brokey still working on the Tash. So Apex has been dropped the scout here and has armor, so that must have been from RPK. Well, imagine if the AWP goes down straight away. The tank really dishing out some drops in the tank last Tank of RPK. Of yeah. <laughs> Flashing long, no one's home. So main port of call and main questions that we're asking at this moment in time is how quick will they adv advance on long? And second question is, how quick will they clear tunnels? Well, that's been answered. So uh, we have over towards the top of a Zywu with a Deagle. He's been it pushed be... out of position. Oh my god, Kyobi's banging for this. Are you checking this close left? Oh, I doubt it. The suitor is. Nice. Doubt's dashed, and they find first blood on this force buy. Now look at the nades left over. We have two Molotovs, a HE, or two HEs, and a couple of flashes. Now, ooh, uh -oh. Apex, very, very lucky to stay alive right there. But look how many of the CTs are over towards the A side. It's all five. They've yeah. given up B through because of this push. Oh, this Oops. is going to suck for them. They're going about to get flash, naded, mo incendiaries as well. Trying to get across, though. No pins pulled, no damage inflicted, and Rain takes the head off her shocks. And another as well. Finally, Masuta gets the dunk and a second as well. Masuta's trying to do it all. And RPK is now in a 1v1. They've managed to make this winnable. He has no armor. He has to pull the trigger oh. first, and he's unable to do so. And so Nico saving the day for FaZe Clan, but coming down to the wire against the French force buy. No surprises to see them opting for it. No surprises to see it so close, but Vitality do fall down in this one.
Just taking a little bit of a look there at the Vitality Money. That was the opening from the Suta. Very diligent in the clear. He gave it a good go this round. Really good go. That, that's a, a probably a big breath. And yeah, they need to get fired up. They need to get their head as far in the game as possible. Let's jumping across the doors to make the call for Brokey as hard as possible. Will be shocks. A little bit of silly business. A little bit of nonsense. Yeah, that would definitely... Not be my favorite from Brokey, but he didn't even pull the trigger, so he can't say he missed. Now, these are just the full eco rounds that we tend to talk about anything else but the Counter-Strike on screen. I don't think this one will be any different. There's not too much danger. And now we can definitely go down the Madness hole. Yeah, I mean, one part of Madness, I'm afraid it is Counter-Strike related, is Cold Zera. I mean, I haven't been keeping my, my finger on the pulse of his stats, but... It, it's been a long time since he was involved in the conversation as as one of the, the the highest impactful players, and I wonder if you've seen any kind of um, any kind of stat lines to to back that up. I have. Yeah, keep so, a track. So right now, this team after the maps played with Kirby in the roster, we have Brokey who is sitting at a one point zero eight rating. So the highest rated player of Phase Clan right now is Brokey. Yeah, and then it goes Cold Zero zero point eight nine, Nico okay. zero point eight eight, and then Rain and Kirby at zero point eight two. So. Uh, you're looking at negative kill differentials in the plus or in the minus 50s for Rain and Kirby. Uh, and we can take a look at some of their matches after this gun round just to see how we got to this point. Razor starting in a good fashion and Rain, the entry fragger, doing what he does best. So finding one and now over towards B they go. Masuta doesn't have any nades, so he will need to get as many frags as possible. Two would be great. Up on the close tunnels box. Flushes will have to be avoided. He knows they're coming, and he avoids the flashes, but doesn't avoid the death. Finished off by shocks. Nade as well available, expecting them to have crossed already. Three members of FaZe Clan, they're all yet to fully commit towards B. Walking in now, bomb across. Could be the save call here. I know it seems a bit early, the bomb hasn't gone down, but I'm not sure how they get back into the site. Yeah, taking advantage of the smoke on doors enables him to tuck away. Shocks gets out of dodge, and so this will be a FaZe Clan fourth. Okay, so to catch people up, if you haven't been uh, watching all of the Counter-Strike in recent times, I forgive you. You can come back. It's all right. No one ever truly leaves Counter-Strike. <laughs> one of the things that we do need to talk about is this slew of matches. So they only have one, one series, and that one series was at ESO 1 Cologne, and that was against MIBR. They won Dust 2, 16-6, and they won Inferno 16-12. They lost Train 16-8. But before that, to kick off their ESO 1 Cologne campaign, they lost to Heroic in a 2-0 fashion. They lost to Vitality in a close 2-0 fashion on Nuke and Dust 2. Dust 2 actually went into the overtime. They lost to Mouse Sports with the recent addition of BMAS, who was previously on this FaZe Clan roster as a stand-in for Olaf. And then, more recently, they were beaten handedly by Astralis, 16-5, 16-7, and lost to Fnatic, 16-11 and 16-4. So that is the core five that you're seeing right now for FaZe Clan and their more recent results. And one of the most positive things you should take away from that, especially in the matchup right here, right now, is that it was close against Vitality last time they played. And and Double kill from Kirby. There you go, round over. Didn't expect to see so many casualties. I hadn't considered three CTs were up on long, but the, all the frags go and face his way, puts the poor Vitality gang on B on notice. The fact that they're pausing is just making me a little uncomfortable because there is a world where Misuta just holds his knife out and charges towards T-Spawn, but That's all right. we're all good. And they're starting to move now and gather towards the wide open A site. So I'm thinking something that might be indicative of what Nico was saying about they just do their defaults and then they're too scared to move forward from that or take any risks. You can associate that potentially with opening kills. And if you look at the opening kill stats right now for the side of things for FaZe in those 13 maps prior to starting this one, Nico was the highest. So his his attempts was the highest percentage attempts, roughly 29%, just under. And his success was 45%. That was the highest in the team. Then it went Rain. Then it went Brokey, Your Orpa, Kirby, and Cold Zero down the bottom. So if you are the in-game leader and you're the one having to take the risks to find those opening duels, find the uh, opening kill statistics, it can be a little bit frustrating, but Nico's no regular in-game leader. I mean, this has been Nico's career as a leader. But I remember the mouse sports Nico who was leading from the front in a way that no one else did. We also need to keep in mind Kyobi joining the team. And, and, and there's a lot of people who don't really agree with my opinion, and that's fine. 
you don't have to. I think the results in recent times actually speak to my opinion. Is that having Kirby come on in and have to pick up roles which are not synonymous with the best Kirby? People might be like, oh, but in North, but in North he was playing roles similar to that, Sponge. You are wrong. Well, how did North go? Ooh. Oh, that's what I thought. So, Kirby coming in here, having to pick up roles that he is not familiar with, he, in the side of Astralis, when he was at his best, took Dupree's roles, which were aggressive positions. They were places like solo rifling spots, like bathrooms on Overpass, yeah. for example, on the T side, being the first or second member in with hyper-aggressive plays. That's where Kirby was at his best. So, the woes that can happen with FaZe for an extended period of time might mean that roles within the FaZe clan roster will change. The ones that he came on here to pick up, maybe they won't be the roles he continues with. And who would have to fill those voids? Well, it's probably going to be Rain. Right. So this team, if they can't start getting some victories on the board, as they are 5-1 up here against Vitality, with Vitality taking the first time out, there's a chance, right, that things will get shaken around. You hear Nico saying, oh, we want to play more aggressive style. We're going to come in with, you know, we need to do this. We need to do that. Well, they're already going through the options here of what can work for this team because you can only lose for so long. So let's hope today that there is the confidence phase clan that we've been looking for. And unfortunately for Vitality, they're on the receiving end with only one kill netted so far for Zywu, Apex, and Shox. Now, we have been seeing how good Shox and Zywu as a combo in recent times have looked for Vitality. They're a star duo, and they've been met with RPK having some consistent big boy performances, and Masuta even impressing us from time to time. And it's been done through a plethora of different approaches to the game. Uh, Apex has can be quite in flux. We talk about... Uh, the high variance plays of a team like Vitality. Thank yeah. you very much for threat, for that terminology. But it does work and they make it work. So one of the keys to that is the double orps. Shox has picked up a big green. Zywu has done the same. And let's see how they can go into round number seven because Vitality needs to start getting some impact. Not even rounds on the board. Kills would be nice. That's That would be our starting point. Just trying to fix my fan. That's all right. Very hot. You only have one of them. That's <laughs> unfortunate. I would have said you had a few more. At least three. Three or four. I was counting your dad and your sister, so... Yeah, those are guarantees. Mum's still a bit of a question mark. Yeah, you gotta got to buy her flowers <laughs> to persuade her. <laughs> oh, okay, that's much better. Nice breeze. And now let's see how easy this one can be for Kiyabi. Have a good flash. Apex gobbles it up, doesn't pull the trigger, and now with vision restored, confirms nothing out. But this is posturing. This is puffing up their chest. This is a mid smoke towards the CT area. No one going to be particularly nervous. You see that how they were trying to force Masuta to jiggle for info, but with Apex's position, there's no need. I haven't actually disturbed the CTs whatsoever on this default. So all they've done is fanned out. They've been given the territory that they wanted and Vitality haven't done anything. They haven't reacted. They haven't pushed. They're just waiting. Apex getting greeted. Seen the barrel, spams wildly, converts one. So that's good enough. There's still two towards B and it will be a B split. Okay, so Shox is flashing from Masuta to try and get some information, but there's still no steps out. It will be from the tunnels. And Shox, oh, oh he's just confirmed it. They're starting to spread. He needs to bait. Survival is key, but Masuta's already gone. And now it's just a matter of time. Molly lands and save called. Looks like FaZe's T side is looking pretty damn polished today. Gold Zera heard the retreat. And it looks like he does want to punish. He's got 5.2 in the bank account. Brokey's sitting on a comfortable 10. They've got so much cash that this certainly would be a fantastic hunt to pull off. 100%. And now that Cold Zero has taken away Cat, all he has to do is clear out the rest of the A site and they know that they'll be over towards Long. Nico going through spawn with low HP Kirby. They can throw Kirby in just to guarantee. He's actually sitting back. So I guess going for some wide spacing here. They really should be hunting these rifles. I'd want to be taking the AWP out of Zywu's hands if I could. The Vice, the Vice grip, it's slowly clamping on down. But as the bomb... They are not willing. Yeah, I, I guess they're... Are they trying to run boost? Here we go. Oh, they're just trying to get a deeper angle towards the pit. Zywu not having any of that silly business. RPK goes down and Zywu will hold on to the AWP. So all in all, uh, the best of a bad situation there for Zywu. Brokey but, uh, really didn't have to do too much to contribute there. Well, the thing that was a little bit confusing to me is Masuda still had a smoke during all of that. If he had just dropped that over towards the tunnels, Shox would have had a couple of freebies as they were coming out through. And look at this. We had a shrine to Zywu in the middle of the screen there, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little candle, <laughs> keyboard, picture of God Zywu. That's cute. I like that one. Yeah. I'm definitely going on the fan cams at one point. You're going to go have I a chat? I want to get involved. Yeah, because I can talk to the people. I want to see what type of people we're dealing with. It's a lot of fun. I do have some of the, the best and worst conversations when fans grab me on the way to the desk.
Yesterday, a guy tweeted at me. He goes, did I see you walking through the streets of Cologne? I was like, yeah, I was, was running home from the gym. So oh, right, okay. I was going to say, why. why didn't he say hello? But I guess that's probably because you were Had running. Had my sweatshirt on. I was running late for work. I was like, oh, quick, quick, quick. He is clear. Masuta and Shock's conveying that information. Couldn't say it in French. Maybe you can. Congratulations if you can. Boosting Might be French. Up. The, uh, the old uh, Apex. You got to go from guys, the side. Come on, fellas. You got to go from the side. Crouch, now, people jump. always try and go from the front, but you have to go from the side. There we go. Look at Shox's position. Kirby should lose his head. Good precision. Execution. Will this really be the round? Don't forget, Zywu has an AWP and he's on the right side. Rain's got something oh, in nice store for us. Way. It'll skybox Molly to force Apex into a wider fight. RPK tucked in on the elevator and Cold Sarah spots him out. This is the first, and that's Zywu. Biggest scalp done, oh. but RPK's knocking off scalps and handing out headshots. Good grief, I didn't expect that. Four frags from the tank. He's just smashing through the competition. I need to see that again. Please. Please. First. Second. Oh, the third is picture perfect. Bloody. RPK, what is that? Jeez. <laughs> you don't get that one every day as an in-game leader. Looks like it was all said and done, but RVK thinks otherwise. Damn. Spicy as hell. That is huge. Holy moly. Well, I mean, he got a quad kill in the pistol. Seems that sidearms are his thing today because Deagles show up in our eighth round to give vitality their only... So basically, RPK has won two rounds so far. Uh, for th there's a summary for you. Jeez. Two for two on RPK quad kills. They what can convert. Stopper. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Double orbs. Vitality now. I wish I had the chat open. I bet they lost their bloody minds. Yeah, probably a Keck W or a Peepo. Or <laughs> yeah, sign. you're doing it, Chad. Yeah, you're doing it. Cool. I'm, with, I'm cool with the kids. Yeah. Okay, shocks. Now the engine started here. As he will be finding the entry onto Nico. Back towards long we go. RPK, the hero of last, ready to deliver once again. Flash comes over. Tucks away, he's on his own, on an island, RPK with the AK, damage done, nade, it's good. Ouch. Well, that's going to put some energy in the Vitality camp, isn't it? Cavalry's on the way. Flash is good, RPK gets a freebie, no he doesn't, Kirby still fully flashed and converted. Apex and Zywu holding on the long and broke, oh, he spots him and does execute nice one. Shot. Needs another, knows Apex was close and this should be a really easy connection, Ooh. so good shots. Still a minute left, there's a yeah, world. There's a world where a 1v4 happens straight after the ridiculousness and the brain melter that was RPK's Desert Eagle using his utility to get across. He's playing this well. <gasps> you smart boy, the sound cue though. Masuta tucked in and not caught out. It will be the third for Vitality and it's a team ace as well. Every single member contributing a single frag. Good attempt there from Brokey, trying to make the best of a bad situation, makes it costly at least. We'll offer up that to Masuta to grab, so delivery service on point. Now, as we settle into this game, <laughs> six to three, <laughs> 10 rounds in. Guns will be out for phase yet again. AWP in the hands of Brokey, not being offered up anything early. Not the long lean this time from phase. Over towards tunnels, this will be the default spread. And we saw before how much space they had. It was a long round. Yeah. Vitality were more than happy just to give them cat control, give them closed doors control. Because Shox, though, he's always, he loves it. When he gets the AWP, he does the sweeping maneuver, clears the tunnels, goes for that aggressive stance. And as long as Kiyobi doesn't move a muscle, if there's action, if there's a frag on A, Shock's likely to walk straight on into that cross there. But he's actually starting to throw out utility, and that will force him back. So this is good from Kiyobi, not risking anything here, making sure he's using his utility to keep them interested. Now he's completely left the tunnels. That means the aggressive play will be held at bay from Vitality for at least another 10 to 15 seconds. Tucking his head, doesn't want to take any risks. This is a deep cat smoke they're about to see come through from Brokey. So they want short control. You can see the one I'm talking about just here. That would lock anybody in. Oh, it's a fast onto A. It's like the A smoke all the way from spawn and they use it. To great success. Crossing away, missed shots. RPK though is just hitting everything. Who is this man? How old is this man? I don't care anymore. It's the frags that matter. Triple kill. Again, the round just ends thanks to Vitality's tank. You know how Taz got a Mercedes? 
Yeah. Maybe it's time RPK gets a tank. tank. He just drives through the streets of Paris in a tank. Oh, Apex to finish off the last two here. Fantastic stuff. And that was Can't great work. What would have happened in that situation with the smoke coming all the way from T-Spawn, you would be calling that it's a standard A piece. And the reason that RPK does great to get three is in the back of his mind, knowing it's an execute, knowing the smokes that came on through, you'd be expecting three to four members coming up, Cat, with one late long lurk. Instead, it's three players. They get locked down. They don't even look threatening whatsoever because they're not expecting one individual to be postured that far forward. You should just be ready for one. You should just be holding that quite timidly, not aggressively like RPK, just shutting it out. And what that's forced is FaZe Clan just down to the Deagles, the AK in the hands of Kyoby, a light smattering of utility, and once again, cat control. So they have three smokes. They can go for a similar execute. They can flash back the AWPer, but it's no regular AWPer at Zywoo in connection with Apex, who is reading this game fantastically well so far. He's leant over towards middle and the B side when it has been the hits to that side of the map. Now he's completely tucked on in towards Goose. All he has to do is keep his head down. There's no Molotov to disrupt him. You're right. He doesn't need to swing. Zywoo baits them all in. And this crossfire should be set up for success. Good Molly. The only option is to drop. And that's what Brokey opts for in the spray. Oh dear. This is destruction, vitality, a new lease of life. Brokey's Deagle, no slouch in a bad spray. Suddenly a three on three. Rotate in. They know there's two B players. You know RPK's long. Like, we have the same information as FaZe right now. And that's a great shot. He's so RPK, crisp today. He is. Precision across the board. Brokey's Deagle. Oh no, a war of attrition. Lost out. Brings him down to 2 HP, but RPK, surely he's got another one in the bag. An unarmored Nico. I like the Deagle. I've had my mind blown by this very same Deagle skin before in the very same hands. And all he has to do is survive. Nico running down that clock. This is exactly what he needed to do. Does take down shocks. It's RPK. A tag on the first. A repeak, a pre fire. He has closed the gap, but does he have time? He's got plenty. That is unbelievable scenes, Jeff. Vitality, take the fifth, and it's off the back of another RPK clutch. What an absolute animal he is in this series so far. Let us remind you of the 4K Deagle round over towards A not that long ago. And now he's standing up with some absolute bangers yet again. This was just the Deagles and the AK on Kyoby, but it's still a threatening round. The bomb went down, damage was done, and one player surviving. They're behind, and RPK is pulling them into this. He's kicking and screaming. Vitality really have not had too much to contribute other than one man and one man's frag. 16 to 7, 11 rounds in, I reiterate. That is a quite the announcement of RPK fully and absolutely revitalized. All right. He likes this angle. Let me see what he's doing. Is he just, okay. Tucked in by the barrel. Flashed in. Oh, some aggression. Oh, oh, first get the lucky spray. Full blind crosshair had to be perfectly placed before that popped. So well played to Cold. Apex now responsible for middle. You can see, Chad, ever since you outlined it, he is always trying to beat that port of call. Now, Kyrby likely to be flashed. And again, oh, oh no! <laughs> Two complete nonsense, fully flashed frags. The aggression was good. It was necessary. The flashes were great. The FaZe Clan, it's better when the eyes are covered, it seems. Yeah, I guess so. They should just put blindfolds on for the next round. Hey, mom, watch this. <laughs> oh, that's comical. So Zywoo can still stop this. Is it, Zywoo, is it time for a Zywoo round? We, we haven't had one, one of them. Just yet. It could be a Zywoo round, ladies and gents. Warp out. No, it's not. Rain's going to stop it before it gets started, and Nico finishes off Apex. That leaves Shocks coming up through spawn. He'll get one, but I don't think he has too much more. It's 25 seconds left. The bomb will get planted. He is locked on in. Yeah. Kirby won't let him escape. Has to fight his way out. Yeah, I think this is uh, probably just a wait. Save the gun. Live in spawn for shocks here. I was having a bit of a thought. Talk to me. You know we did the green suits today? Yeah. What if I order like purple or like orange suits, right? That are quite a contrast in color. What does that achieve? Well, what if we did this? I don't know if it's possible. Hold up. Oof. Okay. So if we were wearing something that was very, very like stark color to the backdrop, what if we had like CS skins 
imposed okay. on us because it is a virtual studio, right? So it would still be possible. I don't know how it would work. What, so we could become the agents? Well, that is thinking well and truly outside of the box where I was going. I was just meaning like you could like have a human body that looks like an Asimov. Oh, right? so you could have like Asimov human. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I see don't know what you're going if it's on. possible. I could be the KFC man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't quite hit the shot, but it's Kirby just trying to make a bit of room here. Straight out long, ahead of the util, tucked in on the corner for now. Doesn't want to get greedy and rightfully so. So phased get their long control. That's not never been the issue, Chad. And that's where they were actually getting a lot of opening kills. Remember Rain and Kyobi in previous rounds, popping out long through the smoke, spamming away, very handedly dealing with Vitality. And now Vitality have realized, well, if we give FaZe a lot of space, they tend to run the clock right down. We've also seen what type of approach they want to go for with the long control. It's the deep CT smoke. They're trying to isolate the CTs in front of it. A Molotov over towards the catwalk position to force them either forward or back while they cross. It's not the standard smoke wall and then hope that you don't get spammed on through or naded and slowed down. And this is what I'm talking about. It's a stalemate at this point. You can have the space. Yeah, that's cool. We'll give it to you. Xbox smoke coming out now from Nico. That will garner and guise the idea of cat control. Shocks has to drop back in case of a mid to B. Over towards upper tunnels this time round will be cold zero. Previously, we have seen Kyobi over towards that side. So interchangeable, it seems. As Masuda tucks himself in. This is going to be a three on four on the A site and the rotation is going to, well, take its sweet ass time. Oh, they're actually, they've, they've bitten into this completely. It's a great fake. So we finds one out. Oh, okay, maybe it's better than this. They've been able to deal with two just crossing completely dry. Now they have to drop the utility. Zywe pushes forward. He's gonna grab another. The no scope's good. Brokey's left on an island. And look, Coldzera, he's still in T-spawn. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Brokey, though, with a double, does have a chance to perhaps try and get that bomb down. I told a lie. Apex is the one to shatter the dreams and to secure the sixth on this CT side. Gosh, does to a perfect battleground, I think, for these two teams to start it off. Wouldn't you say, Chad? I mean, it's already delivered in, a, in ways that not many games can in terms of the individuals. Let's see what is up here then. Zywoo and Apex finding two openings. You're thinking things are tickety-boo. No scope as well, but Brokey on the car for the trade, and he was uh, capable of finding a very quick second. So 18 seconds on the clock as he switched out to the AK and made that double kill plant conversion a reality. I'm so, surprised they went dry across long there. I know that they, they were faking B, but to have so much faith in your fake, that's wild. Back towards long we go. Oh, it's just one this time. It's just Nico. Oh, oh. Okay, Nico. Oh. His Galil has got them both. Caught in transition. They just expected that they'd been respected. Daiwu slaying down some disrespect. Only the first. Cold Zero and Rain reminding us that they're in the game. Misuta's alone, and that's the end of that. So a quick one. Faze responding, and that's breaking their silence of about four? Yeah, excuse me. They picked up the round 12, but other than that, it has all been one-way traffic until now. So starting to see Faze back on the board. And the bank is broken for Vitality in the last round here of the first Ooh, half. They so will take a 9-6. Yeah, and this is looking very good for FaZe for a 9-6. Unless RPK buys a Deagle again. Apex onto the scout. And RPK will buy that Deagle. So it's double scouts, three Deagles. Let's see if Vitality want to show us any more flair. I feel like we've had enough from them so far this half. But I'm always in it for a highlight. So free. Territory out towards long. That gives a lot of information that it has to be a cat stack or a site play. And Rain, he's going to look away. Oh, is he? This is all comes down to timing here for RPK. And the timing is on his side. The tank rolls forward and he will have a dank flank. Ouch! That's Nico arriving in the kill feed for two. Zywu. Look, look at RPK. Yeah, you're right. 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 Wasn't ready. Okay. Round done. Round over. And there's the half with it. 9-6 for FaZe. They're looking good. They need to bounce back. They need a win. Four best of threes against them in recent history. The confidence, it'll be swelling if they can take map number one. Stay around. We're back after the break.
Nine six, FaZe Clan hold the lead, Vitality have RPK. And that's about it so far. It has been a destructive start, plenty of individual brilliance, but the fact that FaZe have come to play, of course, is no surprise. We've seen them pushing in all of the series, close losses in every single one of them. Not maybe not Astralis, an exception there in some, but they have been on a four series losing streak across Kelowna now into Pro League. Fnatic, Astralis, Mouse, Vitality. So this rematch here, is one that they cannot afford to fall by the wayside. Three losses in Pro League, a fourth practically a death sentence. This is about survival and confidence. And for the Vitality side, it is a must win for the pursuit of playoffs. Zaiwu and Shox, the duo, yet to come online. So if they can get activated on this T side, we could be in for a long one. Smoke over. Flash will follow. And Cold Zero, what can you do, my friend? Well, not a lot. So sides open. RPK continues where he left off. Rain on the flank with two nice shots. Yeah, that's a good start. Maybe we've got a round after all. Masuta low. Certainly in the armor department. Bomb down courtesy of shocks. You can see a kit there for the CTs. Really accessible. And doesn't look like it's they'll need it. Burn bloodshed on the first and tapping away. Shocks just needs one bullet. Kirby holding his nerve. It's so close. They need to reload. Two bullets in Shox's gun. One bullet opts for the reload. Kirby, he's got time. He just needs to find the frag. And one bullet will do it at this point. 21 points of health. Another tag for Shox. Kiyomi down to 34. This dance is getting awkward. It's getting really oh. ugly, and that's not going to be nice. Good work from Vitality. The double kill from Shox to secure it. Yeah, nice clutch there. Masuda's information as he swung wide over towards tunnels was all Shox needed. Most players would try and dip on back. Shox wanted to stand and fight. He wanted to win or lose the round in that instant. Unable to connect any bullets. Kirby having a rough time of it. And Shock's pulling off a big round here. The Force by Shum will come bouncing back straight away from FaZe Clan. And here you can see Scout on Nico Deagles across the board. Light smattering of utility and, well, light smattering of damage through the doors as well. Nico gets tagged on down to about 60 points of health. Vitality are just going with the standard default spread. This one here having three towards the tunnels, two towards lower, who will help clear out towards the doors and one would only assume get cat control. That's the color by number Counter-Strike, the basics. Nade set up, could do a good amount of damage and rain swinging off of it means they might be able to net themselves one kill. There's the molly, the nade is a bit shy. Smoke to hold them back until roughly 50 seconds. The bomb on the back of Shox, who is outside of long right now, will be corralling up with the squad. Now, just look at the nades here that Vitality have left. Just use their second to last Molotov. That'll leave them with one for the side if they do decide to go with an A piece. Flash around the corner. And they do have smoke. So if they want to go for a standard execute so they can at least get across towards Gandalf, that's not too shabby. Setting up for some mid to B utility now. Smoke rains out. Jumping out with the SMGs. Cold Zero up. Needs a kill. Yeah, and Coltera, no slouch on the deagle this time. Masuta proves too much for him, and multiple targets do overwhelm Brokey. Looking like a Vitality lock-in now, likely the save for the remaining CTs. Nothing you can really do with the limited util you currently have brought in. They can get this UMP that's dropped off the back here of Zaiwu. That would make their buy, or at least their round, in the following a little bit more potent, and Rain will do that. Get on out there as quickly as he can. 
So just to take a little bit of a note of what the next round is going to look like, which will be round number 18. Nico will still have the scout. Rain can drop either across the Deagle or the UMP. Kirby will still have his Deagle and a smoke in play, a flashbang as well. And then if it's cold zero, he might want to opt to upgrade into a P250. Could just stick with the USP. There's no real right or wrong answer as you move forward. But the picture that I'm trying to paint here is that it is still a scary, scary round for Vitality to have to go up against. You can see there that it's three sets of Kevlar remaining. There we go. So looks like the Deagle was dropped across to cold. I'm not sure if Brokey will get given anything. Look at that. RPK, 17 kills, 111 points of ADR. Had a fantastic first half. Apex there, number two, the second in charge with 11 frags. And we'll be getting this one back underway. Brokey's actually opted to go for a Zeus. So he hasn't gone for a, a costly purchase here, but one that still might net him a kill and give him a chance to upgrade his weapon for free. Or very little investment. You can just see how close he wants to play with this. He might actually get a chance to do it. Oh, man, if Cold baits him in with a sick little wandy here. He just did about. Now there's Brokey. He even grabs the Galil and gets a kill. He's opened up the round. Cold Zera can't quite close it. Nico can, though. Masuta gone on the extremities. Shocks to clutch up. A Zeus kill and a picked up Galil. That's one magnificent pairing to get the double kill started on the B-side push. But now they flood in and nearly three, holding down Mouse One, Kirby. Some redemption, perhaps, as he clutches up for the 10th. <sighs> if that fell apart, I think FaZe Clan's entire map pick would have fallen apart. That was uh, a wild one, just running through the window dry. There was a smoke in Kirby's hands. There was a flash in Reigns, and they just went on in. So this is uh, how we kick things off there with that Zeus into the Galil kill. Brokey did a lot. The buy will come back through. So Masuta, he's only down to that Deagle, but everyone else has a rifle. Zywo even with the AWP. A late pick and nobody greeting them. So Nico doing the primary orping duties on the CT side. Brokey tends to play the rifle, which is a bit odd with the primary orper, but he's over towards the B site. He plays that with Cold Zero. Let's see where Vitality want to go because there's no pace behind this one. It seems... It's going for a very default approach across the board. Nothing crazy to look at. No four-man A-lean. No aggressive boosts. Just the default spread is a minute 20 now left on the clock. Cat control is being taken. The sound cues over towards short. See Nico rotating back. Oh, the oh. timing. Rain just slipped off. It does give the mid. Like, he can't really contest that. No flashes available. He does have the incendiary. He'll be deploying that now to flush them back out. So this is actually good play from Rain. He does manage to maintain. Oh, Vitality don't really have a way in here. And Nico's actually searching forward. This could be that way I was uh, talking I about. I see what you're saying here, Chad. Yeah. But it will be flashes and a smoke from shocks. I mean, yeah. Flashes, the frags. Are, flashes are good. Apex confirms where the AWP is on ramp. Masuta's is trying to poke and prod Rain out of his position here, but Nico's even considering having a look with his orb. But it's 25 seconds here. They're looking like they go and be. Rain surely can stop this, and he will. Finds Apex, doesn't transfer shocks. However, He's has open. just opened up B. Oh my god, Kyobi's running into the frag. He doesn't get through the smoke in time. So the bomb will be down. That was close. So close, but now it's game on. Four flashes, two on each side here. RPK catches the first, heard Nico, does hit the first shot, a spectacular orb shot from Nico, puts us into a winnable 1v1, shocks already two kills to the good. It's just about timing oh. reactions, the quick scope not far off, oh. just over the left ear of shocks you Jesus, and it certainly does get born again into the next round, healthy, full of cash, nine rounds to Vitality's name. And look what that's done to FaZe Clan. Yeah, a bit of a slice there from Nico. Can you the cast the Nico while I pee? Yeah, of course. Cheers, bro. So Shock's taking that one down, picking up the AWP. The buy on the side of things there for Vitality will not be fantastic. So this might actually lead FaZe Clan to think they can contest. Nico had enough for an AWP if you wanted to buy one. Oh, we've got someone juggling over there. Just be careful. Don't break the computer. You don't want your mum to get upset with you. We have a violinist in the middle. Thank you for joining us here today for some more Counter-Strike on the Counter-Strike Network. Here's the scores over there for FaZe Clan. Brokey continuing his good form. 16 kills to his name, 15 for Nico, 12 for Rain, 14 for Kirby. Good to see him slotting on in. And Cold Zero 
nine. So a lot of legendary names of the game that I've just listed there going up against some big French destroyers of the past. RPK, the tank, rolling on through. And it will be the eco that Alex mentioned. So we'll take a look at how this one can go down. A boost towards Cat. Brokey's brought out the Zeus again. See if he can be the hero with that one more time. Same position. Don't think he's going to get anything this time though. Rush, what do you reckon? I think it's very unlikely the way the T's are posturing. It looks like it's going to be an A finish. This cat control has got me... Oh, Cold Zero is clearing lower. They can have all the info. They can stack... Rotate broke. He's already left. Look, I can't believe it. Chad. Rush, what, is it barbecue? You uh, there is barbecue today, yeah. yeah. Oh, also, I kind of need to go to the toilet too. So if you want to take over for here... Yeah, what be... I'll do is once Alex comes back, I'll come in, I'll do the round, and then you can go to the bathroom as it sounds. All right, that sounds pretty good, actually, because right. I'm, I'm dying over here. But anyway, yeah, Chad, looks like the action's about to kick off. Smokes to cross now. Shocks. Takes rain from the site. There's another waiting, Nico. Has the deagle in hand. And the silent MAC-10 of Zaiwu is about to strike. He'll... Oh, yes, indeed. He was ready for Nico. On the flash he goes. And Brokey, the Zeus, he wants more. And he will. Two Zeus kills for Brokey as he jumps up to grab the MAC-10. Clothesline by Apex. And this round is done and dusted. Alex, Rush needs to go to the bathroom now. So oh. I'm going to go around. I'll be right, right you're back. Not. Yeah. You're not. OK, wow. We are chopping and changing all over the shop. Chad Birchall, ladies and gentlemen, a Vox Eminor fame, came over from the Australian lands and now donning his mask as he descends into a socially distanced and properly maintained production room. Kirby's making a nice little sound effect. Actually, that's kind of a pretty nice USP. What's that one? Is that the road something, I think? I just road feel like... rash, I believe. Thank you, Rushley. You gotta go pee now. Chad should be there yeah, any second. Chad's not here yet. I don't Road know where he rash. is. Oh, he's here. All right, we're swapping out. All right, peace Give out. Give me a sec, yeah. Peace and love. The food just arrived as well, so it is premium time to get a little snack on his desk, Chad. Maybe you can uh, plate him up some food when he gets back. I pressed the wrong button, but it says no command, so I no, think I that's probably you. good. No, no, I, like I, I, I did actually press the wrong button, but. Oh. I think we're good. Okay, so just so you know, there's, the numbers are on the keyboard. It's okay. one, one uh, to two. two. Three. Three. Yeah. Oh, it goes all the way up to zero. Yeah, so zero is ten, okay. just so you don't get confused. All right. All right, I'll give this one a crack. All right, well, that's Chad Birchall now on the obs. Let's see how many kills he misses, and let's see how many words I can successfully I say. I start with this. Let's go with Zywoo. CTs, I guess. I guess? Oh, yeah, you're right. He's jiggling the mid. I guess you start on T side. Wait, but we've got quite the aggressive play into lower dark. Give me, the give me broke here. Hold oh, on one. Five is... Oh, where's he going? He's out okay, there. Three. We're on three right now. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Just checking out the uh, MC's long laughing at me, Hey, look at that. We caught some damage. You could even dunk him. Not quite the nade he was looking for. These are not the droids you are looking for. All right, hold up. I'm turning the mic off. Thanks. Now, bomb floating in the top of middle. This is a prime example of the default we've discussed. Covering all the bases. Suta has the mid doors push. His teammates setting up for the eventual finish towards the A-long area. Maybe even up short as well for Shoxy, but Cold Terror will be the first like test. This, this is kind of cool. Did you do this on your own? Yeah, I did this on my own. Nice work. I like how it's slightly moving. Helps my eyes. Nico flashed off and forces himself to take the shot. Still not a single casualty. So technically, Chad has a 100% success rate in this round. Let's see if Vitality can find their 11th, tip them back into favor. Limited util for the CTs at this point. In fact, so limited, it's just on Kirby, tucked on Goose. Smoke perhaps towards short at the 30 second mark could be his best bet. It does look like he's gonna be trying to control them, but it's all smoke and mirrors. They're going middle. Chad draws our attention there. Brokey has so much to do. He's got to find RPK, a little jiggle, and the frags just keep coming in. RPK onto another. Kia being cold forced to save. So I don't know how many kills we saw there at Chadney. I think that was a grand total of zero. Okay, so I wasn't keeping track, but it did feel like zero. There's, There's one. one. Nice. God, I really think observing is the worst job for me. I can't think of anything worse. You know, you know my attention span? Rush like, is back. I'm coming. Oh, good. Okay, good. I just don't have the attention span for observing. You have to be so focused all the time. I don't know how Rush does it. I mean, he's, it's because he's incredibly passionate about the game and is being put in a position where he can have some influence over the way that the, the game he likes is presented. All right, I'm back. I'm back in the Welcome seat. Welcome back. Chad's on his way back to you. If anyone else in production needs to go to the toilet, well, I'm we sure we like can... like a whole rotor now. We'll just yeah, do each other's jobs. Musical chairs. I want to do the crane before I die. 
The crane job looks like fun. You know, the one that that's the camera that you see as it we're flying around the studio. I'm going. sure we can set that up. Yeah, a little crane tutorial. Yeah, okay, why then not? How's he do, do I not need a license for that kind of uh, weaponry? No, um, that's a forklift. Oh, you don't need a crane license. No, I don't believe so. Not obviously a real, the, the ones you build buildings with. I imagine there is a strong licensing and health and safety regulations attached to that. Uh, that type of a crane? Yeah, I think you need a, a whole lot. Big There's, boy Yeah, one. you have to do that probably a first aid certificate and stuff like first that. First aid so. certificate. <laughs> well, I could put a Band-Aid on and I know CPR. Oh, okay, Apex, straight out long, takes no damage. And it is only against the saved rifles. So do you real protagonists in this round, if these are in pursuit of victory will be that of Coldzera and that of Kirby. Looks like they're setting up for a standard temporal pincer maneuver here, Alex. It is the tenet of all Counter-Strike matches. So I really, like, I have a real cheesy one because you know I like Mighty Ducks? Yes. There's a skater... Said Mighty Ducks, by the way, not Muddy Ducks. I know... Hold up. Yeah, he's lost his life. Yeah, that's a problem. That was one of the heroes. There's another tucked in the corner, though. RPK with low HP confirms in. Shot can't trade it either. Needed this from Colds. I was low. Gone down and triple kill from Colds. Oh. Now Nico fills the feed with his Deagle. It's a one versus two. He does have time to play with, but the in-game leader Apex was not planning on this sort of action. Now with recovered AKs, the one question is going to come down to Apex pulling the trigger first, as well as isolating these jewels. Oh, rain. Hard okay. headshot, but he does hit it. Surely Nico wins this. I mean, look at the health. If if Apex was to shoot first. Oh, here we go. A standoff of big brains. Oh, no way. Oh, he doesn't hit it. He doesn't hit the shots. He does now. Kept the spray. He knew no armor present or and if not, it works out wonderfully all the same. That could be the game right there. That one round. I thought Cole had done enough. I mean, what more can you ask of him? He's got the M4. He gets a triple kill on the way in. It's a great triple kill. Look at this. Controlling all the... Taking Zywoo out before Zywoo even gets the chance to get into the round. H how does Apex win this? Kind of Arnold. I have absolutely no idea how not a single bullet was landed on him in that whole scenario on the B site. But now we get back underway. Round 23. If Vitality take this, we might be packing it up and moving on to overpass very, very swiftly. Oh, look at Masuta's space. He's going to punish Cold there. Wow. That's, that position from Cold is only p powerful when there's a smoke down. There was no smoke. Then now the frag. Four CTs remaining. Brokey tucked in on B. Bombs going that way. Rain can't really contest. Cut the back of a smoke. He's actually playing around it. And oh, so is Shoxy. Oh, at least they have two players to stop this B push, but it's just a contact play. They're not making any noise. And Erky can only get one. Oh, it's all over. Red Rover. Kills happen everywhere. Like, this isn't, like, Team Vitality limped out mid, got a kill, then they walk three players onto B, then they walk another guy out mid for a frag, then they walk a guy out long. It's not like they took a bomb site and, like, hey, come retake. They're just like, well, we'll kill you before you can retake. Oh. I think that's one way to do it. What's well, the five headshot aims. strategy, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it was popularized by a team called, uh, I believe I'm saying this right, it's Fnatic. Yeah. Tech? I think that's the one. They're pretty good. Someone breakdancing? People are very lively on the fan. I, I love today. that. You know, I, I do feel like Counter-Strike uh, fans are like the chads of esports fans. Oh, for sure. Like, you know, some esports fans are kind of a little more, um, how you say, cliche. Counter-Strike is the jocks esport. I think so. I think it also attracts a, a particular type of woof. Shot from rain, or rather onto rain. And this one's over before it begun. Kirby does claw something back. But the point I was trying to make is that, yeah, I do think that this game attracts a different type of person. Uh, you know, look at all the pros. They're all like injured sportsmen yeah. that found CS and stuff like that. It's the competitive side of it and it's yeah. the team element of it as well. Because I mean, this game would suck if you, were, if you were incapable of working with a team, which precisely. requires a degree of social skills that other games don't. You know, look at Dota. Dota's a prime example of the other end of the spectrum. They're like the chess club. Yeah, because I mean, that entire, that entire competitive scene picks up talent based on the ELO system yeah. of the game. I mean, of course that's going to encourage loads of, you know, isolated individuals. Of course that yeah, doesn't encourage team play. Lot, right? Yeah, it's yeah. weird as hell. And then you've got such a top-heavy format that basically you just sit there and run your head into a brick wall and break down teams in pursuit of that one big win that can change your career in life. I reckon League of Legends is the checkers club. Yes. And then... Um... Because Checkers Club, you know they're having fun. You know there's like a Bluetooth speaker in the room. You know, yeah, they're, they're, they're jamming to some 90s classics. But they don't have to think as hard as the Chess Club. No, I'm sure the Chess Club probably full of, you know, lots more um, whispers and um, people thinking things and not saying them out loud and brewing distrust in one another. Valorant will probably be like the badminton people. Yes. 
That's, you, you do it. You're smashing these uh, after school clubs, Chad. I didn't get to go to many, so I had to watch from the outside. I was too busy fragging. Body bagging, toe tagging, not lagging. Freestyle yo, rhyming yo, all of the time. Yo, and bombs loose at T-spawn. Uh, uh. Oh, little bit of a spread. RPK, toasted, like bread. Caught down to 62 as well. So this is all part of Vitality's playbook, you know? They want to make sure you really don't have a clue, right? So you've heard sound cues, the still nades coming from B, everything feels like it has to be one thing and then there's another and it is rotating both both through that T-spawn. Previously, RP, um, excuse me, Rain actually did get caught out a little bit on this position, so he's going to have to hope he plants his feet a little more this time. This is good info from Nico there to clear the car. And now Kyobi can take even more space and play the shadow advantage. He can go for a flank if it is going to be the execute. But to clear out this position, it's unlikely Kyobi doesn't get a single kill here. If he doesn't get a frag, he's really dropped the ball. Oh, that's some rough stuff. Look at the pressure on Nico ideal. now. Oh, Nico's in trouble. Flash over, needs multi-kills. He's missed the first. He goes down. Looks like a 15th for Vitality. Rain, Brokey and Cold Zera trying to change the odds of boost as well. Okay, it gets away. Rain with the first of the equalizers, needs another. And not gonna connect the bullets on the cross. This gets awkward now, bomb will go down and they're gonna have to save. 15 rounds on the board here, Vitality. Yeah. Look, I said first time that these two squads played, it was close. This was an overtime affair, Vitality beat them 19 to 16. I it was such a good start from FaZe, wasn't it? Yeah, they had that 9-6 first half. But what, I mean, what did Nico say as well? It, well I'm gonna mix up the my CT interviews. sides, he was did saying the CT, CT sides, sides were rubbish. That right? wasn't Alexi, that was Nico. Yeah. And he was also talking about on their defaults, how they were, were struggling a bit with being decisive. We didn't really see that so much here because they were able to take long and get opening kills and to get nine rounds on the first half of Dust2, especially uh, considering how flux, influx this map can be. Uh, that's nothing to be upset about. But they are really struggling on this CT side. And uh, look, I'm not pointing fingers. If I was in Kyobi's position, I definitely am I'm not getting a kill. I'm not a professional player anymore. I'm just a pundit. I watch it. But he should, in that position, be good for one. He has the shadow advantage. And you think that you need to be getting one kill in that position just to take the pressure off. So look at this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so Mas Masuda, by going for the peak in that fashion, he shows a bit of the knee. Yeah. Uh, and then he steps to say, he, he, that's a frustrating one to, to go down yeah, with. He knows. He knows he's, the frustrations are absolutely real. Violinist? He's one, five, he's one in five at the moment, Alex, in opening duels. That guy's playing some MM. That's kind of cool. People can sit and watch two games at once. But uh, yeah, Chad, I, and, and reiterating your point, yeah, I think the Kyobi's going to definitely be a little miffed with that one. Certainly contributing. Oh, oh not again. This, one. this is a chance. He gets one, nearly two. 360. The 360 hip fire headshot. There it is. Okay. Wasn't expecting such a fast presence up short. Can't really be faulted and... No, access to long. And this is a very classic vitality maneuver. You can see he's going to drop the bomb and set himself up in pit. I want to know how Zoe gets into the pit. Run boost. Ah, that's one way to do it. Bang! Oh my God, I was about to scream. Nico, however, does have a screamer of a spray. Practically three. He doesn't finish it off with the USP. RPK tried to clear B. Coldzera not to beat. And that's the end of round 26. FaZe Clan, fight on, live on for another round. There's definitely the possibility that they can bring this back and, and, and take us to an overtime. Look at the spray, man. Good stuff from Nico. One missed shot from Zyru. That was all it took. Yeah. Now, I think with the money situation right now on the Vitality camp, going into that round, I think RPK had like 13 grand. It was like 12 for Apex. I'm pretty sure Zywu had 14, so <laughs> the buy's not a problem. They should be able to buy out for the remainder of this half while in regulation. And then if we make it to overtime, they'll have that $16,000 round start for the MR3. That's if we get that far. Phase, you have to post four more on the trot to even hack that, make that a consideration. And one thing on Kit Watch, they have five to their name. Everybody has head armor. Everybody has a full set of utility. The orbs are out. This is the perfect round for Phase to start that comeback, right? Yeah, and they need to make sure they're doing it relatively cleanly because their money is not fantastic. So for Vitality, it can be more of a war of attrition, but Masuta, well, he's hungry and he's hungry now. Cold Sarah's got a snack in front of him though. Four Cs on that one. Does take down Apex, quickly traded. So starting to decelerate now as FaZe's chances rest on just three shoulders. Nico. 
Resmoking to reposition. He should be able to try and get up onto that A site, but the unknowing presence of Misuta, that frag he found on Rain right at the start of the game, means they have to be careful, and that's what this boost is all about. He pops Kirby up. Interesting that they didn't opt for the AWP, but he's going to be given the responsibility of short. And now, as the smoke fades, Kirby advancing. He's not ready. And he's oh, caught no. out by the tank. Nico in vulnerable situation at this point. They're all gathering their resources. They're all heading to Nico's port of call, and all he can do is stand in limbo. This is so awkward. Surely you'd want to tuck in, find some cover. He can support the mid to B as well. I understand why he's still there. Long, an unknown un entity. He might catch Zywo off here. The off angle. It's good. Basuta needs to trade this. Jiggling. Jiggling. Nico's not falling for it. Needs another. Quick flick. Not going to connect. A two on two, though. Oh. Now oh, RPK finally fills the feed for his 24th. At least Nico's made it winnable. A one on two, much better than a one on four. Brokey. Advancing. Ascending. Hoping for not the jump shot. I assume it's just the element of surprise. We're in his eyes now. He does make noise. A challenge. It's a hard one. Just jiggling around. Shocks does go down. Where's the trade? Looking to confirm it. Does get the shot. Gets the info. Peeking off his flash. No one's home. And that's the duel. RPK has done it for Vitality. Throughout the series, a spectacular conversion in the end.